Hello, furniture people. I'm Joe, and I like refinishing old furniture. Somehow I decided it would be a good idea to film that and share it. So here we are, turning grit into gold. As a reminder on this one, uh, this is the third video in a series of four. Um, I picked up this desk at the ReStore, um, not too far from me. Uh, because this desk is, uh, well, I think haunted, uh, Eddie is sitting this one out. He's taking a nap. Um, and at this point, being halfway through this story now, um, I'm showing you it would be the very, when the desk is, uh, the desktop is fully unfolded, um, this would be the top piece. And the scroll work on the front, and I intentionally left some of the old um, the varnish and stain there because uh, I want to use it as a method to help highlight this. And while I'm taking down the scroll work right now, and eventually you'll see how it turns out. It's a little bit darker than the rest of the wood later on. Looks quite nice. Um, my channel is evolving as uh, as I'm going through this, um, changing up uh, somehow uh, some of the, my methodology. And you'll see some of the uh, work that I do. I'm going to have um, the microphone on the camera turned on sometimes. None of that in this video. I'm doing my usual narration. Um, that'll some of that will show up in the fourth video. Um, but I've also decided to work with uh, some of the music that's licensed within YouTube to help pass some of the time when I don't have a lot to say. And uh, please, in the comments, let me know what you think. And as we're going through this, and again, please, if you like the video, like and subscribe. Doing that allows me to continue sharing interesting projects with you. And I'm in the early stages of here of uh, trying to build a YouTube channel, and I need a thousand followers and four thousand hours of views to uh, be able to become a monetized channel. Those are two of the mo most basic rules. <clears throat> excuse me after you create an account and everything else and I hope your love of furniture antique furniture is as strong as mine when I look at these uh, pieces and yesterday I picked up a, a dresser another dresser to work on that has some beautiful um, uh, woodwork on the front of the drawers the top of the dresser is in extremely distressed condition and uh, no pictures of that yet here I haven't actually really started to work on it other than doing some initial photography of it but I'm excited to show that as well as a little bit of a, a deviation from what I've done so far with uh, just furniture um, I picked up a sterling silver samovar uh, also yesterday a busy day and I'll be returning that silver uh, back to a really beautiful, pristine condition um, and making sure the heating element underneath works and there's a spigot. Uh, so this was used, this samovar was originally designed to be used um, generally with serving um, hot coffee or tea. I did a first application there uh, with the rag on the scroll work. And then you can see I uh, flipped the piece around so I could work on it better. But now using a paintbrush uh, with uh, the dark oak stain um, to really uh, give this a, a good color differential, shade differential, and really get it to pop.
and as I do quite often, um, is I like multiple shades of stain, and I think it helps uh, make a more interesting piece uh, as I'm recreating it. And I'm not working on this in any kind of a factory environment or anything. Um, so I have a lot, plenty of choices. Um, and uh, so I enjoy the different colors of stain on the wood and how the wood takes it, what it looks like. Uh, so here on the front, a uh, little bit different from what I did on the uh, very top board of this piece. You can kind of see here that the board looks a little bit darker. That was a dark oak. And I believe I'm using gunstock here uh, to get that little reddish color on this part. And I will let with a lighter stain underneath here. The part that I'm staining now, when the desk is fully open, becomes the platform that the very closed top piece that looks like a coffin rests on here. It hinges up at the very top near the can of stain and the bottom of it will rest on that board that I stained at the beginning of this clip. And again, this part, yeah, I disassembled the desktop, pulled that out. That was actually slaughtered, and once I had the back off, it slid right out. Uh, but as I worked on the pedestals, um, the desk was wide enough where I really couldn't fit it down and around the stairs that lead to my uh, workshop. Uh, so I set up some protection for the floor in this foyer, and I had a little daylight to work with as I brought these pieces down to the wood and then restained. Generally on this, I'm using um, probably a 220 grit um, for the most part uh, to bring down the varnish and anything else that's on the wood. Might have to go through it, if, go over it a few times, but a very light grit um, so that I'm not scratching up the wood. And then having to re-sand re after.
can see this coming down nicely in stages here. Same thing, treating, uh, sanding down the front frame of the desk area. And this actually came down very quickly, as you can see. Now some of the deal, detail work, and at the tail end of that last clip, where there there was that long oblong mark on there, that sanded right out. Um, for the sake of time limitations on YouTube here, I edited that piece of the clip out. This all sanded down very nicely. Also. I'm very much enjoying the process of sharing my work with you. And again, please uh, comment about the addition of music uh, once this is published. Um, and let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, and please like and subscribe again. All that said, I am convinced that this desk is haunted, that it once was a coffin, that someone was buried in it. And the evidence that I have is this handprint that won't go away. Stay safe and be healthy, everyone.